The Independent Petroleum Markets Association of Nigeria, IPMAN, has said that it does not make sense for the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, the NNPCL, to sell petrol lifted from the Dagote refinery higher than imported bonds. Meanwhile, the company stated that it got the petrol at 898 naira per litre from the private refinery and will be selling between 950 naira and 1,090 naira per litre, depending on the region. As the issue around pricing rages on now the depot and petroleum product marketers association of nigeria has also come out to debunk accusations that it allegedly reported down with the refineries limited to the president um that is president bola Tunumbu for underpricing diesel thereby affecting their businesses so we'll be looking at all these on the show um, this morning, even as we have Uka D.K. Chinedu, who is the Ipman National Public Relations Officer. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Um, Chinedu, for joining us. Uh, thank you. I'm the National Publicity Secretary. National Publicity Secretary. All right, noted. Uh, Mr. Adbalan Olojede also joins me. He's the development and macro, is a development and macroeconomic analyst. It's nice to have you around, sir. Uh, nice to be on the program. All right, so I'll start um, with uh, Mr. Chinedu Kadiki. Now, the NNPCL DRL dust has not settled, and we're already having it man throwing his own punch. Uh, based on NNPCL's uh, release, um, Dangote Refinery, you know, refined petrol gantry price is 898 naira, 70, 78 cobble, and NNPC added NMDPR inspection fee, um, distribution cost, and profit to it. Now, we're looking at 950, 1019. It is an entity, I'm talking about NNPC now, set up to make money for government. So why is Ipman angry about it? Well, Ipman is not angry about uh, anything uh, about the NNPC. Ipman is just showing concern, you know, about uh, the disparity. Uh, Mr. Chinedu. You can go ahead, please. Yeah, if man is concerned about pricing, uh, getting products cheaper from the sun, if man is not concerned about how you are able to get the product, but the most important thing is that we want uh, we get the product that can be easily sold and also pocket friendly to our commuters. So if NNPCL is offering us a cheaper price and now bringing in that product to give us a higher price. I don't think it, it is something uh, that is uh, uh, the best practice in terms of the, the industry. The industry, uh, you know, it, it promotes and encourages uh, good quality and cheaper price. So invariably you're saying that whatever the price is, it would not affect your business. No, definitely it will affect our business. If the price is very, very low and it's pocket friendly, independent marketers would make high turnover. of it. But if the price is high, you also uh, know that people will limit their movement, uh, people will lessen their patronage towards us, and uh, we will not have our, our return on investment quickly. But if the uh, product is cheaper and is better uh, and is pocket friendly, uh, you will see people coming to the filling station to feed their tanks and also maybe drive their convoy. But when the product price is above and uh, it's very, very serious, you will find out that people cannot be able to buy products the way they want to buy. So independent marketers, we are only concerned where well, we can be able to get this product. Uh, okay, well, I understand um, your standpoint. Uh, Mr. Olojede, I'd like to take your reaction on this also as regards um, the pricing being estimated uh, by the NNPCL over the Dangote refinery petrol. Um, for, for me, um, we need a bit more honesty um, in that space, and that is what will help us to make a proper analysis and suggestion uh, to support the process. As it is today, we don't know exactly what is going on in that space. If you will remember, after the NMPC had mentioned a particular price uh, via his um, uh, media's uh, spokesperson, um, then the Dangote issued a, a, a reporter, you know, more or less saying that is not what uh, we sold, though. We didn't even sell uh, for uh, for Naira. Uh, what we sold was for dollars to the government. 
The one for Naira will be subsequently uh, in the future. So what is the, what is the correct position? And what is this dollar amount that Dangote sold? And what was the conversion rate? What was the exchange rate that was applied to arrive at what an MPC was saying? Uh, you know, to me, let, 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 let me paint a picture for you. Mm. A month ago, NMPC said this same Dangote refinery was only 45% complete and that it is producing inferior products. It has not been commissioned. It has not been licensed. That was one month ago. Then two days ago, the same NMPC lined up truck to go and pick fuel um, from a, a factory that was 45% complete and, uh, and, and had not been licensed, has not been commissioned, and is producing inferior products. So let's have the real position of things so that we can know exactly what is going on. It is also unexpected that a lo local manufacturing should be more expensive than the imported one unless the imported one is being subsidized or the the, the source is deliberately trying to crash price so that your domestic one will never take off. Mm. Now, all those complexities, we will not be able to properly put shape and form to it if there is even no honesty in the space in the first instance. We need to know exactly what is going on. Then we can know, oh, is it a subsidy matter? Is it that the people we have been importing from for probably for 50 years and do not want to lose their source of income are they deliberately depressing price so that we will be frustrated with Dangote and we'll mm. move back to them? Don't forget also that the preference of NMPC appear to have been to import anyway. Um, what is the quality of what is being imported vis-a-vis -vis what Dangote is producing? Is it also part of what is playing out in the pricing? We don't know. So let the parties come to the table with more honesty for Nigerians to be able to know what exactly is going on okay so um let's get a bit of honesty on the part of ipman now um chinedu back to you now it's been speculated that before now you've been a player in the game for a couple of years i want to believe and it's been speculated that you know the petrol being imported into the country before dangote came into the fall was substandard or should i say still substandard anyway and that is why it was cheaper or does it have to do with the so-called subsidy are being paid by governments that, of course, the government has come out to deny. Let's understand that part. So maybe if we understand that, we may now have an understanding of what um, the Dangote refinery is presenting, though it has, of course, still remain coy in terms of the actual price it is hoping to ensure that its commodity is made available to would-be buyers. So we need to understand that, Mr. Chinedu. Well, um, this is our business. And uh, we are here to protect our business and ensure that we're in business. Uh, NMPC has been supplying us petroleum products. Uh, that's no doubt. And has been the only source of uh, importation of petroleum products in Nigeria. And independent marketers were bonded into NMPC headquarters. And uh, since then, we have been collecting petroleum products at a very, very moderate rate. Until within this period of time, we start having what we call a political scarcity comes and go and all the rest of them. And uh, they we're also hopeful that Potaka Refinery will come up on steam and then with the refinery. That because of this epileptic supply of uh, international IOTs, uh, interference, and some international logistics. So this all some of our best so, uh, charges, all this problem will be caught by the coming of Dangote and uh, yeah, Potaka Refinery. Uh, you've now, not actually, uh, Mr. Mr. Okadike, you, you've not actually um, answered a question around adulterated fuel, because part of the grouse of, N of Ipman, you know, against NNPC was the fact that what NNPC used to import was, or is cheaper. It should be cheaper than what Dangote is presenting. And I'm asking you, is it that what NNPC used to supply to Ipman that it distributes to the filling stations for the couple of years now has been adulterated or substandard fuel? That is why it is cheap. That, 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 that is not correct because uh, we have the NNDPR. The NNDPR is the people that satisfy 
uh, quality and quantity of products that is being distributed by NMDPR. And in all the depots, you have NMDPR that uh, checks the uh, uh, quality of the product before we the independent marketers. And since we have a collective NMPC, NMPC program, we have not had any problem. It was oh, sometimes in like uh, two, three years ago that they brought in for the hard data. And they took out publicly and apologized that this poor, the blow recently has et a, 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 enough ethanol that the uh, market should return them back to the refinery and the depot so that it can be recycled or it can be blended. And that was the only system we had. And that system was taken care of within that period of time. And market stars also can be about it. But since that down to them, well, products have been saying in our police station, to the best of my knowledge, our quality uh, products, nobody has ever complained that these products have been substandard. So the politics of bringing substandard products and cheaper products by NMPC is unfounded because we are independent marketers who have been selling products in our police station for the past two, three years. Nobody has complained low quality. Nobody has complained substandard quality. NMPC has not told us that the product NMPC brought in into this country is substandard. So for somebody to say that now is not is not really correct. What uh, between Bangote and NMPC, there is serious politics that is going on uh, that uh, that is very very obscure to we don't know in Nigeria. You can see statements and counter statements from Bangote and not of NMPC. And I also believe that NMPC have a good investment in Bangote. All of them is trying to protect their interests and ensure that whatever price they are going to bring to the public will not encourage developing inflection. So uh, that was why NMPC is telling us that, look, we have a uh, plan for you, and this is the price. Now, if uh, you are taking from Dangote, this is the price. It shows that NMPC don't want to plug their hands in taking only Dangote's product. But they want to also display good faith by going to Dangote and collecting their product and selling as they bought. The essence of this willing buyer and willing seller for the support in terms of the PIA bill has been applied. So mm -hmm. NMPC is also buying and is also important. If by tomorrow marketers will look at it for the important product that is more cheaper, they will buy. If uh, Dangote brings down his price, they will also buy. In this uh, Dangote brought it down to 1,200. When the sale was at 1,200, marketers will rush and buy the Dangote. Uh, importers brought their own down to 1,200. Why Dangote will, uh, took his own further down? To 1,000. Marketers are still buying from Dangote. Dangote went to 950. The importers are crying that the, the, the price where Dangote is going, they know they can no longer import. Okay. And I think they stopped importing. And after some period of time, Dangote now increases its own product to 1,100. So this is the tears of the business. And the duty of uh, the deregulation process is being that you need to compete, you need to ensure that your quality and your price. Are favorable and pocket friendly to uh, the end user. Uh, okay, well, um, Dangote has, of course, um, come out to say that you know it's a product is actually of premium quality, suggesting that uh, whatever it is NNPC has been supplying is inferior to ease. We're just going to put it at that, uh, Mr. Olojedi. Now, let's look at it from another angle as regards this price. Analysts have said the issue with the price of petrol is not even the additional fees attached to it by the NNPC, but the issue around Forex, that is around 1,637 Naira to a litre, that if Forex were to be around 500 Naira to, uh, per dollar, the price of PMS would drop to maybe 275 Naira per litre. And if it was around 800 Naira to a dollar, the price should be around 440 Naira per litre. Knowing fully well that the crude oil sold to Dangote by the NNPCL was in dollars. So shouldn't, be, shouldn't this be the focus here, or is this also plausible in terms of um, a possible price reduction? Well, unfortunately, the issue of Forex does not have a microwave uh, solution. So uh, if the prevailing market dollar rate is 1,006, you're not going to say um, for the purpose of PMS. Let's have a rate that is um, 1,000. Um, no, no, no economy should run like that. Once you have that kind of a situation, which is part of where we were coming from, where the rate that is applicable to a segment of the economy is different from the prevailing market rate. What you have is round tripping. 
people will come into that space. They will take that your subsidized dollar. They will not put it in the in the market where it is supposed to go. Rather, they will take it to the open market, sell it, make money without contributing anything to the economy. That mm. is round trip, and that is what will happen once you start having um, multiple rates. Now, the 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 way the domestic manufacturing can help us is that look, a, a, a significant amount of the pressure that we get for dollars, let's get dollars, solar dollar supply, Wahala, is coming from the importation of this white product. So what we are saying is that if we don't have to import that product with these hard-end dollars, then it might reduce the pressure, the depreciation of the Naira, and help us have a bit of improved stability of our currency. So if we do a Naira for Naira, so Dangote will, will buy crude in Naira. It means that when he's buying, he doesn't have to go and start looking around everywhere to search for dollars to be able to pay the government for the crude that it is buying. Then when government or whoever is also buying from him is will be buying, they will also be buying in Naira, which means that either government or the independent marketer or whoever is buying from him within the domestic market it's not, it's not taking a foreign exchange risk. So it doesn't have to go and start sourcing for dollars to be able to buy from him. Everything will go in Naira. And that reduces the pressure, this depreciation pressure on the exchange rate. But then, uh, and, uh, and, and that will also be determined at what price NNPCL would supply crude to Dangote. And of course, the service charges attached to that transportation that would also inform what the eventual price Dangote refinery would be pegging its price at. Isn't Definitely. that true? Unless what we are suggesting is that maybe NMPC should introduce some foreign exchange uh, 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 subsidy, because you can also do that. You can say that while foreign exchange is 1620 in the market, uh, for this purpose, let's give it to Dangote at 1590 That is a, a subsidy element. So actually, anything outside of the market rate is an implicit subsidy, and it is for government to be able to make a decision around whether it wants to subsidize, whether it is the foreign exchange you want to subsidize, whether it is the pump price, whatever I want to subsidize, that, okay, I want to subsidize, and this is how much I want to subsidize. My, right, uh, my, do... my thought okay. would be for us to look more towards diversifying the energy source. Whatever we have been trying to do with the CNG space, let us rev it up. Let it create an alternative so that that oil consumption of 1 million Naira, maybe it is 250,000 Naira that I will spend if I take that alternative source of energy. I do not foresee that the trend of PMS increasing a, a market price will take a reverse unless probably there is a drop in the international market of food. Otherwise, this trend is likely to be sustained for a while. Yes, yeah, so we go international now um, with um, Chine Du. I agreed. Um, international price of crude is going down, according to what we know it from, you know, 80-something um, dollars per barrel to about 70 to 71. But then um, when we look at the pricing, what exactly was Ipman or is Ipman hoping that NNPCL would eventually sell um, petrol um, to Nigerians or even to Ipman before it gets to the final consumer, considering all factorial costs that would go into um, the distribution? Well, uh, uh, pricing as far as uh, oil and gas in North is concerned, right? it's within a regime. Uh, NMPC uh, uh, does not do pricing just because of the daily uh, uh, fluctuation of the uh, crude oil in the oil and gas market. No, they do a regime. They bring out a regime uh, period like uh, three months or a one month regime or monthly regime. Like now, this is in September. If they are going to bring out their price template, that their price template will take care of uh, October and November. 
Uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Chinedu, you are actually, you know, um, an active player in this. I I'd like you to just give us yeah. a rough idea of what you think um, the pricing should be. I I'm not saying you should tell us categorically, but then let's have an idea of what you're actually expecting that the price should be, considering all the costs that would go, um, that actually went into the supply of crude to Dangote, the refining, the distribution and everything before it gets to Ipman, before it gets to the final um, consumer. Uh, yeah, well, it, because uh, we are a regulated economy, it is where the independent marketers, by the time we get it from uh, NMPC, we will not determine our price. And uh, we have been starting uh, and looking upon NMPC from this, and uh, NMPC have already set up their price. So uh, we only uh, take the box from NMPC, and we, didn't, and then we cannot be able to determine the crude to Dangote or how much is being sold, and we can also be able to determine what Dangote have sold to an NMPCR. So what we can be able to determine is what an NMPCR or Dangote will sell to us. Now Dangote have not sold to us, an NMPCR... An NMPCR said 9.50, estimated 9.50, Mr. Chinedu. Uh, Mr. Chinedu, an NMPCR said 9.50, depending on the region that anyway. Is, that is, uh, that was not their ex pump price. That is their own ex pump price. You understand me? It is not mm. market as price. So it is more than enough to come up with that market as price. Maybe it's not or something like that. That we really depend on market as we put the cost of our transportation. Because the cost of our transportation might differ from that of NNPCR. So it depends on how we can be able to take our products from one point to another and where we'll be able to get it. We are taking it from the NPC estimated from the Maybe we are taking it from Wadi or Canada. These are other coastal areas where it is product from. So it is for us, the solution is for us. a specific price. It is what you can be able to determine based on your logistics and your cost and your running cost and the cost of funds that you can be able to put it together and sell. Most marketers are selling 1000 150 most of are selling 1,100. So, but if all things being equal, we can, um, then we will start rolling out the local produce, uh, uh, the local supply uh, crude oil by October, and the NMPC will come down because of some of the things they have minus, charges uh, they have minus now recently from uh, uh, handling charges of the petroleum product. I also believe, hopefully, that products should not be more than 800. Uh, okay, so um, uh, Olojede, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Chinedu. Let me just quickly get um, Olojede's um, reaction, Mr. Olojede's reaction um, on, on this. Now, analysts say that NNPCL as the sole buyer is indirectly saying or meaning it is maintaining subsidy, as it means marketers will take from the NNPCL stock lifted of Dangote Refinery and possibly, you know, mitigate um, the price so that by the time it gets to the end um, consumer, it will not be as high as what um, it's been suggested. Now, is that the implication of NNPC's move? And does it really suggest that this sector is deregulated? Well, it's, it's all part of, it goes back to where I started from, uh, which is the honesty um, that is on the table as far as this industry uh, is concerned. Now, NNPC is a regulator. NMPC is also an operator in that same space. Now, when we have a private sector player like uh, Dangote, the expectation will have been that, oh, um, it, 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 it will be, it will be, NMPC will stop or will moderate the level of attempt to control pricing. Uh, but that is not what we have seen. In fact, what it has done is to consolidate on its capacity to control pricing by saying whatever this private refinery produced, I will be the sole buyer. I will buy it. Then I will determine how much uh, how much I will I will sell it to uh, all, all the, uh, the distributors or, or, or the, the marketers who will buy from me. In my opinion, it is all part of the not so clear. Uh, uh, a way of administering our oil and gas space. 
why does an MPC want to buy everything? In the in the in the last uh, uh, maybe eight nine years that NMPC had been the sole importer, we knew why. The reason was simple: the FX situation was such that the importers were not um, unless you can unless for those who can hedge their risk. Nobody else wants to go into that place. I was in oil and gas for a bit. I remember that the last importation we did, which was uh, I believe twenty sixteen. We made a loss on that transaction because by the time the, 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 the vessel arrived, we could not we could not sell. The, the, the dollar has moved against us. You know, we, we, we sold at a loss. So it was such a situation that only the government could have come into that space, import it, absorb all the subsidy, determine the price, and then everybody just go to NMPC to go and buy. But if we want to bring market forces into rate, then um, NMPC has to step back a little bit, be more transparent about what is going on. If you want, I'm not saying NMPC cannot subsidize, but even the issue of subsidy, let's be open to it if you want to subsidize. Mm. Let's be open. This is how much it is. Look, 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 look at something that NMPC told. At the point in time, NMPC said, oh, the landing cost of PMS in Nigeria is 1,200. This is NMPC saying 1,200. And then when Dangote come, Oh, we had things about 890 something naira, mm. and they still had the boldness to say that that is market forces. What kind of market forces land a product at 1,200, sell it at 890 naira? You say it's market. <laughs> so all these, uh, you know, information that could not, do, they don't make sense, and they are not presenting NMPC in the right light at all. Mm. The institution needs to step up his game and come to the table with a bit more honesty. There is no market for... Now, now the the man, man the, the marketers are telling us that Dangote refined, Dangote oil is more costly than the imported one. So which imported one again? The imported one that, was, that they told us was landing at 1,300 or 1,200. How is 800 or 957? How is 950 more expensive than 1,000? That's... Uh, big okay. questions, big questions that we, we keep to, um, of course, start posing to the handlands of the um, Nigerian downstream sector. Uh, but then from all that has been said today, we've still not been able to categorically say or give a definitive answer as to what Nigerians will be buying the PMS or petrol um, at the filling stations. And that conundrum continues to remain even as we continue to probe this matter. But then uh, this is where we draw curtains on this particular discussion. We'll pick it up some other time. Um, Mr. Uka Dike Chinedu, Ipma National Public uh, Relations Officer, uh, thank you so much for your time. Bala Olojedi, development and macroeconomic analyst, thank you also uh, for talking to us. Thanks for having us.